The world of medicine and the human anatomy has been a field of study that sees its roots from as far back in history as the times of the ancients. Understanding that our bodies function more similarly to machines have allowed us as a species to work towards understanding the natures of our own developments and developments of the future. We have worked to solve illnesses, genetic defects, birth defects, crippling health issues, and so on. But it might be a surprise to know that there is still a tremendous amount of work left to go. As we work to tackle bigger issues and philosophical questions of the human body, we are confronted with the limits of our knowledge. So today, we will be covering five medical mysteries that scientists still can't explain. Why do we need sleep? It might seem obvious to people who hear this question and believe that the need for sleep is already a predefined and well understood phenomenon of the medical world. This is hardly the case. In fact, even the evolutionary advantages of sleep are not entirely known to research scientists studying this strange need. A misconception that people often seem to have is that sleep allows our body ample resetting time and our mind to relax and shut down to allow us to perform better during the day. The truth is, however, that sleep is not a resting period and that our mind actually begins going through a higher performance known as an active period in which a lot of different functions begin happening for no real understood reason. These various functions can range from information processing, restoration and even memory strengthening. One of the added benefits of sleep, weirdly enough, is that it helps our minds reinforce information retrieved during the day and play a vital role in memory retention. What is all the more odd, however, is that no one really knows how or why this occurs, and even though sleep is the single most activity humans will do throughout their lives, the secrets surrounding sleep continues to elude us. A question the further leaves scientists scratching their heads in confusion is the argument of evolutionary advantage. What could possibly be the advantage to forcing a member of the animal kingdom to spend one third of its natural life unconscious and vulnerable? unable to eat or stay on alert for predators or even just to perform natural bodily functions. This strangeness is only compounded further when analyzing that every single member of the animal kingdom requires sleep and to deny sleep for a prolonged period of time could result in seizures and then subsequently your passing. But why is that? No one really knows why sleep is so required and why, without it, you can die. Perhaps there is some supernatural secret to the idea of the abstract world that sleep provides us and the answer might be far more extraordinary than scientists can understand at this moment in time. Why do we dream? Similar to the question previously asked, dreaming is all the more of a mystery to scientists along with the mechanisms of sleeping. In fact, there is a whole field of study in the world of science called honorology that is dedicated to attempting to work to understand the exact reasons for why dreams themselves even exist. Research into this field of study include the exploration of the mechanisms of dreaming, the influences on dreaming, and disorders linked to dreaming. What is all the more interesting into this study is the work made towards understanding the electric stimuli of the dreaming world and advancements made in understanding dream cycles and the discovery in recent times of the rapid eye movement which is a specific moment in dreaming that a dreaming patient's mind is similar to that of a waking mind. Further studies made by a professor known as Dan Yang in the field of neuroscience that often overlaps into honorology has found that it might even be possible, given the advancements she has made, to potentially view one's dreams and catch a better glimpse into the minds of the subconscious. Many scientists in honorology often debate on the reflections of the subconscious mind that dreaming inhabits and believe that it could be possible that the inner subconscious mind is allowed to communicate with the conscious mind during this time, allowing an individual to better understand hidden traumas and subconscious desires. Outside of understanding dreams, however, the mechanisms that cause such a phenomenon are still widely unknown and it appears that any new satisfying answer is not coming anytime soon. How does ASMR work? The Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response, or most commonly referred to in the mainstream as ASMR, 
is more than just a trend sweeping across the internet. In fact, it is one of the biggest mysteries in medical science to this day. Roughly 95% of the population can experience it, the rest simply cannot, and the reasons for how and why it can be experienced are even further shrouded in mystery. For those that are not already aware of what ASMR is and wish to try the experience for yourself, it is common to find videos all across YouTube that will play sounds that can cause this sensation. ASMR is described medically as an experience characterized by that of a static-like or tingling sensation on the skin that typically begins on the scalp and moves down the back of the neck and the upper spine. It is currently not known as to what can cause our brain to begin feeling this tingling sensation that is just caused by listening to auditory stimuli of a certain nature, nor the fact that certain soft sounds and whispers can cause this feeling. Some argue that it could quite possibly be an evolutionary adaptation that is in most people that allows parents to softly calm their children and lull them to sleep and that this sensation works to relax stresses and other sensations to cause an easier sleep pattern. There is not much information to support this theory however and so any further advancements made relative to understanding the direct cause of ASMR have not yet been discovered. Why are there different blood types? Not much has been known about blood types since their discovery and is often the center of mystery around topics of illnesses and immunity. The variation of blood types that many people are aware of, known as A, B, O grouping, has been difficult to understand since their discovery no more than 100 years ago. These variations in blood types refer to the appearance of different antigens in the blood of an individual that can cause blood donors and recipients to have a bad reaction and rejection if the antigens do not accurately match, but the nature of these antigens and of the cause for the blood types themselves seem to have no real purpose. It was believed that blood type antigens can work to prevent infections, but studies surrounding infections of all types have proven to be inconclusive. In most studies, it has found rather that certain bacteria can mimic blood antigens, making them harder to detect from white blood cells and the body's natural immune system, meaning that certain blood types can be more susceptible to different diseases, such as how people with the blood type A are more vulnerable to smallpox and people with the blood type B are more affected by E. coli infections. The people that are type O which is the most common blood type, are perfectly fine without the antigens entirely. So then it begs the question, if blood types appear to worsen the condition of fighting infections and cause other evolutionary disadvantages, then why do they still exist? Why did they ever exist in the first place? Scientists struggle to understand these questions and provide answers, but it is safe to assume that understanding blood types can lead to newer discoveries that may shed light into a secret vital role these antigens can play in the development of health and medicine. How does DNA work? Although given the recent advancements made by the Human Genome Project that utilized different research labs and international resources from many different participating countries and corporations, that help to map out the entire human genome and better understand the entire DNA of the human species, it still remains a mystery that many argue might never be solved. One of the biggest questions surrounding DNA is what causes it to work the exact way that it does. For those that are not aware, every single cell in your body contains the same DNA code inside of its nucleus, and the nucleus itself works to act like the brain of the cell and carries out the specific growths and functions needed to perform its specific job, that is, communicated via the strands of DNA inside it. It is then safe to assume that DNA is the sole mechanism responsible for the creation and performance of every cell in the human body, which works to be the building block of all life. Oddly enough, this mechanism is completely covered in mystery. Why is it that certain cells will perform certain functions with every single cell holds the same genetic information inside of it? Scientists struggle to understand how it is that specific parts of the body will finish replicating or perform different functions as others and how it is that DNA operates as a whole and carries out these functions. Even after mapping, in detail, the entire human genome, this is still a mystery. 
If this secret can be cracked, however, it could mean understanding why cells refuse to replicate or break down after a period of time, allowing us to turn back the clock of aging or solve other diseases that are centered around the functions of a cell, including different forms of cancers. Though DNA is one of the biggest mysteries of medical science, understanding its true nature could mean everlasting life for the human race. But what do you think of these medical mysteries? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below and help us grow this community and solve these unexplained mysteries. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thank you.